Hey everybody, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a good day. Um, today we are going to do a little bit more work on the 514 Rock Crawler Project, AKA Bluebell. And we are gonna start the teardown of the 05 and up for Super Duty Dana 60, which is actually a Super 60. So let's get into it. All right, so why do I need a one ton axle? Well, if you need to be told why, chances are you are very new to off-roading, which is fine, but bigger is always better. If you have more beef, it's gonna be harder to break it, theoretically speaking. So this is what we're working with. All right. So this front axle here is an 05 and up Ford Super Duty axle, all right? Now this is technically the Super 60. Uh, it is a high pinion axle and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this has a locker in the front. Uh, I had a truck, a work a company truck a couple years ago and it was a 2017 F350, and that had a front locker in it. It also had a rear locker in it. I was told both came stock. So seeing as how this axle was used from 05 to current, I'm really hoping that there's a front locker in this, because if there is, I'm going to try to keep it. But it depends on what gear ratio we go to, but that's for another episode. So for now, let's do the mechanical teardown, pop that cover off, see what we got inside, and then go from there. All right, so what I did was I put the bolts into just a magnetic tray from Crappy Tire so I don't lose them. I'm gonna take this tag off and keep it with the bolts. That's that, and we'll decode the, I'll show you how to decode this in a bit. But for now, let's get in there. There we go. Um, excuse me? You should be gushing. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. So, I'm a little concerned. You can see that this is covered in fine filings, which is, honestly, it's not that bad. But what's concerning is the fact that there's next to no oil coming out of this thing. I'm gonna grab a rag. There's no need to panic, Chris. No need to panic. Okay, so if you take a closer look, these gears actually look pretty good. 
There's no big filings or chips that I can see down in here. It's, it's not milky, which is good. Um, and I'm not feeling any filings down it. Uh, okay, yeah, no. It's just the edge of the tooth that I felt. There's no major file chunks down in there, which is good. Um, to try and troubleshoot this, the axle seal, which is this guy right here, is not where it belongs, all right? It should be like this one in there, but even that one's wore out. So, so I'm hoping that it's just, that's where the oil went, all right? And then this got pulled before the axle, or before anything grenaded. So I'm gonna keep going, actually, you know what? Let's check the, oh, that's nice. Everything's nice and tight between the pinion and the and the ring gear. So I'm happy with that. And my one thing that I was hoping would be in there, which is not, as you guys could tell, this is an open carrier. And you can see all the spider gears and all that in there. Eh, oh well. All right, guys, so I am really happy with how this turned out, all right? So I'm gonna give you guys a walkthrough and all that fun jazz and go from there and then we're gonna call it quits for this video. So, so this is what we're left with. Minus the coil over mounts here, all right? And all in all, I'm really happy with it, okay? Uh, things left to do still. This paint and a little bit of rust in that, I wanna grind that off. I'm just gonna hit it with a flap wheel. As you can see, it just does, it does a nice job. I still gotta fill in a couple of spots where I kiss the axle with the torch. Um, and then these guys here, I got a couple of these. This is from the factory plug weld, like this. Um, that didn't penetrate the axle at all. So I had to cut off about two inches on this side here so I could actually get the truss to sit flat. I'm going to groove, put a small groove in the side here 
all the way around. And then I'm going to do a circumference weld here and a circumference weld here. And then other than that, that's it. That's it. As you can see, the Sawzall did a really great job of cutting this out. I did a quick little blend with the flap disc and I am happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. Now I've test fit everything. Lower link mounts are gonna clear the whole nine yards. So, next video you guys are gonna see on this is it going underneath the truck for its, uh, to get test, test fit in its forever home. If you've made it this far in the video, guys, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment whether it's good or bad. You have questions, I don't care. I want to hear them. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna finish editing this video. Cheers, stay focused.